Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial video on RNG manipulation in Pokemon Sapphire. I feared some people asked for a tutorial on this, so I thought I'd make one. Um, in the background you can see my PB video running right now, uh, just so that I don't have to record extra footage. Um, and while the video is running, until we get to the Mudkip, let me introduce you to some basics of this, or answer some questions. Uh, so the first question is Ruby or Sapphire, and the answer to that is Sapphire is faster, but just because of the late game, so Kyogre is just a lot better than Groudon. As far as early game or anything else, uh, it's just exactly the same, so this minute will be possible on Ruby. Uh, next uh, is the big requirement you need to actually make this work, which is having a dead battery. So how do you get a dead battery? That's really simple. You can just take it out of your cartridge. <laughs> um, you can check uh, when the game boots up, it'll say the battery's running dry, the game can be played, but clock-based wins events will no longer occur. Something like that. If it says that, you're good. If not, then your battery is not dead. The thing with this is, uh, if you own a Ruby or Sapphire cartridge, there is a decent chance it's actually fake. Um, the Gen 3 games have a tendency to have a lot of fakes floating around on eBay. If you just go ahead and check, and if you know how to spot a fake, there are a ton of them. And the fake ones don't have a battery. And that's really bad. Because you need a dead battery for this. And there's no way to actually get a low battery on a regular cartridge. Uh, on a fake cartridge, sorry. So that's out. Uh, you can check if you have a real cartridge by just opening it up. It has a try wing screw on the back. And then the first thing you should be greeted with is this large battery pointing at you. So... Uh, there's actually a way to tell by not opening it, like if you're buying one on eBay or something, to tell that it's r original. Uh, just look at the back. In the top left corner, you'll see... Uh, Dolan explained to me this as a window. It has four rectangles. And the right side has three dots. So, if you see that, you're probably good. I'm gonna, just gonna pause the video here. So, you need to have the dead battery to make this work. That's just because if you have a dead battery, the RNG seed will always be the same when you start up the game. And that's really helpful because with the same RNG seed, we can always determine the same stats over and over again if we just hit the same frame. So, there's actually a list of frames from 1 to 10,000, which I'm going to link in the video description, with uh, IVs and natures. And this list is true for any Pokemon uh, in the game. So you can choose a Trico at the start, for example. If you choose it on the same frame that we choose this Mudkip at, it'll have the same IVs and nature. If we choose Torchic on the same frame as this Mudkip, it'll have the same IVs and nature. So that is really handy, since we can just set a timer, which you can see in the top left here, Eon Timer to let uh, that count down to the frame that we actually want. Um, and then just select the Pokemon on that specific frame over and over again, and we'll get the same stats. So that's the basic concept. Uh, everything you also need, <laughs> you can see in the top left corner here. So in the video description, you'll find a download link to Eon Timer. This is a free tool. No need to pay for this or anything. I believe you can donate to the creators or something, but you can just use it. Mm. In Eon Timer itself here, just to go over this real quick, uh, you'll find 5, 4, 3, and C. This is for the individual generations of Pokemon, so Gen 5, 4, and 3, and Custom. Uh, we're just going to use the Custom tab for this. You can do it with a 3 tab. I think some people do that. I find it easier just by doing it with C. But your choice. Uh, also, here in the bottom left corner, you'll find this cog wheel. And if you click on that, you'll get a little settings window, which 
doesn't pop up on OBS sadly, so I'll have to uh can find it. Hmm. Doesn't want to be added. OBS just doesn't recognize it somehow. Oh well. But there is a settings window popping up, trust me. Um, you want to go to the third tab. It has three tabs. Actions, Application, and Timer. You want to go to Timer. And under Console, you want to select GBA. Uh, there's also NDS, DSi, 3DS. That's obviously for the uh, Gen 4 and 5 games and 6 and stuff. But GBI. And then set the refresh interval to 1 at the very bottom. And then just hit Save, and you're good to go. So, 11.40. You can also already see I put this in. Uh, you simply do this by going to this top window here, then put 11400 and add. And it'll have 1140. Uh, 11 seconds and 40 milliseconds is the time that it takes from resetting the game to selecting the right mudkit. Now, this is the general frame to use. If you find that you're constantly too late or constantly too early, you can change this by a few frames. So let's say I want to go a bit earlier, so I can set this to maybe 38. Apply, and it'll be 11.38 now. Uh, which will click just the slightest bit earlier, but maybe that helps you. Uh, it's just super important. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, just very important to find your own timing value or rhythm, I guess. So, if you keep missing it a bunch, don't worry. Just try some different timings and see if that works out. Alright, let's continue with the video here. So... You get into this cutscene here, and the first thing you have to do is save in front of the back, obviously, because we want to reset the game. Uh, you can do it either from the right or from the bottom. And just hit save. Just wait until it saves. Alright. So any time now I should reset. Um, as soon as this message box pops up, A, save the game, you can reset. But... What you want to do here, you actually want to do this before this text box at all. Um, you want to hit update. Just click on update on Eon Timer and then press the right uh, cursor key, or the right arrow key, sorry, uh, twice. And you can see the blue hover is over start now. And what this does is you can press either enter or spacebar and it'll start. So that was spacebar and that's enter. Uh, so that's very helpful. Uh, if you just were to click on start and not update first, it would just start the timer <laughs> by clicking the mouse. That would just not what you want. So update, right, right, and then start. Um, and then what you want to do here, so you want to have this set up. The hotkey is over start. And this text box pops up. Now you want to reset the game. So press A, B, start, and select. And the spacebar or enter, whatever you prefer. At the same time, so just hit the four keys. I usually reset with the game controller. I find that easier. Although I do play with a Game Boy Advance SP. So press A, B, start, select on the game controller. Or A, B, start, and Y in my case. And spacebar at the same time, and it'll count down Eon Timer. So I can't really do that, but you can see I reset there. Let me like try to... Uh... Let me just try to get it to work. Alright, that was sort of good, I guess. So you can see it'll count down. And when Eon Timer runs out to zero, it'll give you audible clicks. There you go. And as soon as that last click pops up, you want to hit A. Um, you can actually change the amount of clicks you get in the settings. Um, I think I have it to... Yeah, I have it set to five. Uh, it's on, in settings under the actions tab, you can find the action count, which is set to 5 in my case. You can also change the sound. So, that's basically it, but I'll run that again for sure. Uh, so as you can see here, I got the mud kit. I just have to see if I can time this well. <laughs> so again, the message box pops up, 
reset, starting on timer at the same time. Mash through the intro, I'll get to that in a second. Load the game, go to the mudkip, and select the mudkip when the timer runs out. Eon timer having this audible feedback makes it a lot easier, trust me. Um, visual audio cues are much better than, than visual cues for this. At least for me, some people prefer just the visual cue, but uh, many people are using Eon timer, so. Now for the intro here, um, there's actually a, a very slight tech. Uh, normally the intro has this raindrop cutscene at the start, and you can skip that. So on this screen, the first screen of the intro, if it fades out, so like here. As soon as it fades out, you want to hold either B or start, just hold the button down, and mash A. And that'll skip the raindrop cutscene entirely and just go right to the title screen. Uh, you can do this without skipping that, just mash A and B together. You can still get the mudkip, but and it's really easy to do, just hold A button. Um, and I, f I just find it easier to have more clicks on the mudkip itself, otherwise you have to rush a bit, and rushing is not great. I'd say yeah, just press A on the mudkip then, and then you can take a look at the stats. The, um, you can identify the real one by a few different factors. Let me just load this up. So the first one's this. It's a female Puchiana. If the Puchiana is male, that can happen sometimes. Mm, there is a chance that you hit the right mudkip and the Puchiana is female, but it's a very slight chance. It's, in most cases, it's female. So if it's female, that's a good sign. But you shouldn't reset if you get a, fem a male instantly. And check your mudkip. It's a male and has 21 HP. If it's not male, reset. If it has 20 HP, reset. And check the nature. Naughty nature. Perfect. That's just what we want. Um, so if it's still a naughty nature, it has 21 HP and it's male, but the Puchiana is also male, then it's still the right mudkip. So don't worry about that. Mm, well, that's pretty much all there is to this. It's a really straightforward manip. It works the same way every time. So you just do this every run. Uh, and even if you don't get the kip first try, you can just reset again. So let's say I were to check my stats here. Or not even check. But oh, we're, let's say... Uh, all right, come back. So let's say I load up the game. Blah blah, press A, and I see, ooh, it's female, nice, but then my mudkip comes out and see, damn, male but 20 HP. You can already go ahead and reset from this screen and just hit start on Eon timer again, so just press spacebar again. Um, it's still focused on start, so you can just go ahead and hit spacebar again. Oh, well, I'm focused on um, VLC player now, never mind. but. You will still be focused on, on start. As long as you don't um, click anything else on your screen, obviously. So I can just try over and over and over again. I usually, in in speedruns, most people go for like three resets. If they don't get it within three, they reset and just start over. Mm, but doing it like over and over again, you can take as many attempts as you want, really. So that's basically all there is to it. Uh, in the video description, you'll find links to the uh, the file with all the mudkips listed, if I can still find that, and a link to Eon Timer. Uh, the alternative method, if you don't want to use Eon Timer for some reason, uh, is just with a regular timer. So let me just bring that up real quick. There we go. So here is my timer. And so what you can do is you can set this to a minus 11.40 seconds. There you go. And now if you were to reset, instead of resetting with Eon timer, you would just reset and then hit 
this key. Whatever key is your split key on life split. Mine is number pet one. And then when this timer runs out, pretty much the exact same thing. You want to hit the mudkip as soon as this reaches 0, 0.00. So you don't get the audible feedback. You don't. You also don't get the clicks visualized. As you can see with Eon Timer, it'll visualize it here by flashing blue. I just really like Eon Timer, to be honest. There you go. It's flashing blue. Makes it a lot easier, at least for me, and most, most people, to be honest. But yeah, that's it for RNG Manip in Sapphire. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And happy speedrunning.